Say, kids, what time is it? Ho, 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 ho! Well, howdy, doody, kids, and howdy, Buffalo Bob. Well, howdy, Mr. Doody, and boys and girls at home and all my kids here in the gallery, let's go. Oh. It's howdy, doody, time. It's howdy, doody, time. Fox Mills and howdy, too. Say howdy, doody. Everybody, April Fool, we're upside down, kids. But now we're not. You weren't too dizzy, were you? No. Huh? No. You all right now? Yeah. Okay, because now, boys and girls, it's time for Kellogg. Say, do you see what I see standing in a row? Kellogg's bright new faces on the all-star breakfast show. Cornflakes, the leader is here with a bright new face, a colorful ear of corn. Golden corn. Rice Krispies with fruit on top, sing a kind of cereal bop. Snap, crackle, and pop. Pep shows what parents prize, boys and girls with sparkling eyes. Sugar corn pops, good and sweet, bring cowboy stars you'll like to meet. Seven more, each a treat, make the cast complete. On the All-Star Breakfast Show. Grocers from coast to coast now feature your favorite Kellogg breakfast cereals in their bright new boxes. Look for this sign in your grocery store at the Kellogg All-Star Breakfast Show. Yes, Kellogg's for breakfast. No better way to start the day. It's smile and food. It's good for you. Start, start you off with a hoop de doo It's Kellogg's for breakfast and a happy, happy day. Ah, yes, sir, boys and girls. Well, you know, today we have a real problem. As a matter of fact, kids, we got a pipsqueak of a problem with a little guy by the name of Dilly Dally. Now, kids, we arranged to have a meeting with Dilly Dally a little bit later, right after the movie, because, well, right now, we're going to have our first 1952 wingding. Oh, and a wingding, kids, is a big, big contest between the two candidates, the Flubba Dub and me, Howdy Doody. And kids, each wingding will salute one or two states of the United States. During our campaign, we're going to try to cover every state in the United States. And today's salute, kids, is for all the boys and girls in Nebraska and Wisconsin. Oh, that's right, Howdy. Now, say, you boys and girls out there, we want you to watch everything that happens. Because, kids, now look, when Howdy Doody and the Flubadub finish today's campaign salute, then I want you boys and girls to decide whether you like Howdy Doody or the Flubadub best. So you keep a-watching, kids. Now, we have a brand new invention that's going to tell us just what you kids at home have decided. Oh, oh and kids, it's really a sensational invention. But first, the salute. Well, I'm ready, Buffalo Bob. Well, all right, Howdy. Now, you know, kids, the flubber told us that he'd just as soon have Howdy go first. He wants to go last. So now we start our wing dang. Boys and girls, presenting his opponent, the flub's opponent, who is a young boy from the world of television, Howdy Doody! Hooray! Oh, thank you, thank you, boys and girls of Wisconsin and Nebraska. I salute you. Boy, those are two great states, Wisconsin and Nebraska. Boy, oh boy, first of all, Wisconsin, I salute you for producing more cheese and milk than any other state in the country. And Nebraska, well, I salute you for producing more butter than any other state in the country. You know, kids, these are the things we need. Without butter, well, all the bread would be dry. And without milk, well, then all the milk bottles would be dry. Good point, Howdy. Hooray! Very good, Howdy. Oh, well, thank you, Buffalo Bob and kids. Well, now... Those two states, as great as they are, deserve the very best kind of a president. Now, first, kids, here is a song that I rewrote especially for Wisconsin. Oh, oh. yay, Wisconsin, yay, Wisconsin, where the cows all roam. 
I could talk about Milwaukee till the cows come home. Yay, Wisconsin, yay, Wisconsin, fight on for her fame. Vote for me, howdy doody, he has the name. Well, great going there, howdy. Very, very, very good. Hooray for Wisconsin! Yes, sir. Oh, and now a song for Nebraska. Oh, hold right, everything! Howdy. Hold everything! Wait a minute! Stop the music! Oh, well, 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 what's the matter, Bob? What's the matter? Well, uh, you're not going to sing two songs before I sing one, howdy, old boy. No, sir. Oh. Children of Wisconsin, the Flubadub salute you! Oh. And here is a song that I rewrote especially for Wisconsin. Oh, yay, Wisconsin, yay, Wisconsin, where the cows all roam. I could talk about Milwaukee till the cows come home. Wait, 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 Flob. Now, wait, what? that's exactly the same as the song that I wrote. What? The flub a dub is singing. Oh. No. Yay, Wisconsin, yay, Wisconsin, fight on for her fame. Vote for me, Flob. Very good, yay! A little out of key, Bob, but too. it was and nice. Nebraska, it was, yeah, I, love I know, me. I know. I Nebraska know. has thousands and thousands of farms, and that means it's full of wonderful animals like me. And I am the world's most wonderful animal. And since Nebraska has goats and cows and sheep and things like that running all around all over the place. Nebraska needs me for president. Uh, flub it up. Do you have a song for Nebraska? Mm, no, I, I, I don't. Not yet. Oh, well, then may I sing mine? I guess so. Okay, Nebraska, here it comes. Whoa. Yay, Nebraska, yay, Nebraska, famous farming state. When Nebraskans start in asking for a candidate, I will tell them, I will tell them, I'm the boy for you. Vote for me, howdy doody, he has the name. Hey, hooray for howdy doody, hooray for Nebraska, hooray. to think of a song. Huh, well, that was quick, Flop. Quiet, quiet. Uh, uh, now, for Nebraska, and especially for its largest city, Omaha, the flub dub says, Yay, Nebraska, yay, Nebraska, I love Omaha. That's the same song that I sang, Flob. I don't care. I deserve a cheer. Flub it up for president. Oh. <laughs> Hooray. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, now, flub it up. What's this Omaha ha 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 business? You sound like a broken record, Omaha ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha, boy. I'll show you ha ha. I'll break records, all right, howdy. Oh. But it'll be in the voting. Yes, sirree. The ha-ha will be on you and not on me next November because more kids will vote for me than ever voted for anybody else in the world before. Yeah, now, November is still seven months off, Flub. And we have to find out who won the wing-ding today. Well, I'm sure you'll find more kids are supporting me than are supporting you. Yeah, but my new invention will give us kids the answer. Now, Flub, you come back in about ten minutes and, and then we'll settle it, okay? Hmm. Okay. Yay, Nebraska! Yay, Wisconsin! Yay, the Flubba Dub! Ah, that Flub, he's a good singer, isn't he, kids? Yeah! He really sings. He sings in all the keys in one song. It's Clarabelle! Yes, sir, kids, there's Clarabelle. Now, look, I want to tell you something. I think the wing ding got off to a pretty good start today, and it looks like that Flubba Dub's going to give Howdy quite a battle. But you know, kids, I, I think I feel much better seeing Howdy running against the flub of than instead of Mr. Buster Wright. Huh? Yeah. You bet your life. Say, Clarabelle, what you doing here? Oh, 
kids, I see that Clarabelle is all ready. Well, now, boys and girls, Clarabelle and I, we're going to show you just how much fun you can have with one of these swell Aerodoodle rocket beanies that Howdy wants all of you kids to have. Now, first of all, I just take one of these rocket planes and I put it right up here on the launching tube. Now, when Clarabelle blows through this blasting tube, then the plane will take off. All right, Clarabelle, take a big, deep breath. Get all ready for action. One, two, three, rockets away! And look at that go. Good going, Clarabelle. Yes, sir, and kids, these rocket beanie outfits are really, really terrific. Now, first of all, kids, you get a red and green beanie and a launching tube and a 20-inch blasting tube and three rocket planes, which you can punch out and put together easily just by following the simple instructions on the back. And kids, they're very easy to get, too. Now, all you have to do is to have Mommy get you a box of those golden, fresh Kellogg's Rice Krispies. And then you tear off the top of the box and you mail that together with your name and address and 25 cents in coin. Send that to Kellogg's, Box 8500A, Chicago 77, Illinois. Now, this offer is good only in areas where not prohibited by law. And believe me, kids, you'll have a barrel of fun with your aerodoodle beanie. But now, don't forget, kids, the sooner you write in, the sooner the mailman will bring it right to your door. So don't delay, kids, and send right away. Oh, yes, sir. Well, kids, now we're going to have our Howdy Doody Old Time movie. And then, oh, gosh, Dilly Dally. Yeah, well, don't worry, Howdy. We'll, we'll talk to Dilly. We'll straighten him out. Come on in, boys and girls. It's old-time movie time now. And we're going to show you the rest of the movie that we started yesterday. The movie with our buddy Mickey McGuire and his entire gang when they set out to go way, way, way out west. Mickey and the gang, they were making covered wagons yesterday, and they had the whole gang rounded up. They heard that there was gold out west, so that's where they're going. How about this little girl? Honey, do you like old-time movies? Yeah. Bea, what's your name? Nancy. Nancy what? And where are you from, Nancy? From Philadelphia. From Philadelphia. Well, it's nice to have you here with us today. How many of you kids are from out of town? Let me see your hands. How many from out of town? Good. Where's this little girl from? Where are you from, honey? Bridgeport, Connecticut. Well, say, nice to have you here. Where are you from, Sonny? From Fairfield, Connecticut. Wonderful. Nice to have all you visitors with us today. Is there anybody here from real far away? Here, how about this little boy? What's your name, Sonny? Alan. And where are you from, Alan? Mount Vernon. Yes, that is far away. That's on the way to New Rochelle. You know, I, I, I was on the New Haven train one day, kids, and I, I saw a, kind of a funny-looking man on the train, and uh, I said, uh, pardon me, sir, what's your name? He says, my name is George Washington. So I said to the conductor, hey, is this fellow George Washington? He says, no. He said, he just thinks he is. But we all knew he was. Later, he got off in Mount Vernon. Can you imagine? I wonder what... Do you... Well, I tried. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which lanky Lou were here. Well, you can't have everything, kids. Now watch, here's Mickey McGuire, and he sees this... He, look, he thinks it's a very strange monster. He said he never saw anything like that. He said this monster has the head of a cat. It has the body of a stovepipe. And it has the tail of a dog. And that's exactly what it is. A great big stovepipe with a cat in one end and a dog in the other end. So Mickey's running away from this thing because he thinks this is some prehistoric monster. Actually, it's a plumber's dream with a pet shop. Clarabelle, well, you've been a very good clown throughout this entire procedure. What does that mean? Indians. Uh-oh, Indians. Now Mickey and his gang are really scared. They see real Indians. But actually, if you remember, kids, yesterday, when Mickey had his entire club there for that meeting, Davy Davis was hiding over a whole big stack of boxes and he found out that Mickey was going on this expedition. Uh-oh. So Davy and his gang are posing as Indians. They're trying to frighten Mickey. 
Now, Mickey has got this fire water here. Oh! And every time this... Oh! That was the dog with all the hair on it, that baldy. So now Davy Davis, the Indian... Oh! He's afraid of Mickey because Mickey's got this... Oh! This fire water. See, they're all running away from up for Mickey is up. They're all running away. Whoop. They're all running away from up. They're all running away from Mickey as long as he's got this fire water there. See, they're afraid of him. But now watch what happens. Whoop. Fire water's running out. Watch this. Whoop. <laughs> Kids, this picture won the uh, Academy Award in 1904 for having the best sound effects. Did you know that? Sound effects were provided by Jack Anderson and his three pistols. He's quite a boy. Jack Jamaica Anderson. He's from the island of Jamaica. No, she went by herself. So the Indians chased Mickey and his gang back home, and Mickey and the entire Toonerville gang promised that they would never again leave their home in search for gold, and I think that was a pretty good idea. Oh, say howdy. It's time to sing about Colgate Dental Cream, the toothpaste that tastes so wonderful. Okay, Buffalo Bob. Oh, brush your teeth with Colgate's. Colgate Dental Cream, it cleans your breath. What a toothpaste, what a cleans your teeth. Colgate toothpaste cleans your breath. What a toothpaste, and it tastes so good. Oh, and boy, Buffalo Bob, Colgate has the best flavor I have ever tasted. Oh, yes, sir, howdy's right, kids. You know, Colgate Dental Cream has a clean, fresh flavor, and I know you'll all love it. And say, what's more, boys and girls? You know, when you brush your teeth with Colgate's every day right after eating, Colgate Dental Cream stops tooth decay best. And say, you know, kids, last night I, I had a dream about that. It seemed as if the moon were out, and the clouds were drifting by, and then suddenly I saw a big tree and a long white road where a happy tooth was walking. And just then, I heard a rustling up in the tree. And I looked up, and there was old Mr. Tooth Decay. And I called, look out, Happy Tooth, look out. But he didn't hear me. But just as I spoke, Mr. Colgate Dental Cream jumped from behind a tree and pulled down Mr. Tooth Decay. And Mr. Colgate Dental Cream said, Ho, ho, because decay can't hide from me, that tooth is clean as clean can be. Son out, kids. You remember, huh? For a happy tooth, for a happy teeth, you use Colgate Dental Cream. You'll like that wonderful wake-up flavor. So, boys and girls, you brush your teeth with Colgate's Colgate Dental Cream, the one toothpaste with such good taste. a boy, Clarabelle. Well, now, kids, for Dilly Dally. Now, you know, Howdy made a new invention. And what was that new invention called, the kids? The The what was it? The pipsqueak. Pip pip That's right, the pipsqueak. Now, we made this pipsqueak, kids, so that we could see Mr. Buster, no matter where he goes on his secret trip. And yesterday, right out of the blue, Dilly Dally stormed in here, and he said that he was going to tell Mr. Buster about Howdy's using his new invention called the pipsqueak. Oh, now, Dilly, yeah. you better change the way that you're acting, buddy. Howdy, I'm going to tell Mr. Blusher that you are watching him with your pipsqueak. Then you won't be able to use it anymore. Well, now, Dilly, I, I, I don't know what's eating you, buddy, but, but I'm sorry, old boy. I'm going to use the pipsqueak today and whenever I feel like it. No, no, you're not going to use the pipsqueak today. Well, well Dilly, we... 
Well, you didn't tell Mr. Busters yet, did you? No, no, not yet, but I did something else. I hid your pipsqueak. You hid it? Yeah. Oh, Jelly, where did you hide it? Oh, look around for it, Claramel. Uh, 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 look at the end of the wagon, Claramel. Uh, 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 Maybe behind the curtain. No, you'll never find it, Clarabelle. Well, uh, for heaven's sake, uh, so... I, I told you, Clarabelle. Well, now, please, tell me, tell me why you're mad at me, Dilly, will you? Well, if you don't know by now, there's no sense in even thinking about it. Well, I know, but, Dilly, I... Oh, wait a minute. I think I know. Yeah. Dilly, you want to run for vice president. Well, it's about time you found out. Huh. Vice president, the job of assistant to the president. Yeah. Well, you know, Dilly, for a while there, you wanted to be Mr. Buster's vice president, but, <laughs> but Mr. Buster can't run at all, so... So now you're hoping to be my vice president if I become president. Hmm, that is correct, Howdy. I have been waiting, Howdy Doody, for you to ask me to be your vice president, your assistant. Well, yeah, but Dilly, don't so you I'm see it? I'm tired of waiting. Do you want me to be your assistant or not? Well, golly, I can't answer you now, Dilly. You see, I... I, I see only this, Howdy. If you say yes to me, I will be very happy. But if you say no... Then I will tell Mr. Buster about the pipsqueak, and I will do everything in my power that I can to make you lose the presidency. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and I will help the fool of a dog. Oh, well, Dilly, you're a nice fella, and we all love you and all that, but, but gosh, you can't pick a fella to be vice president just because he's a <laughs> friend. <laughs> I mean, if, if he's going to be my assistant, he's also yeah. got to be the smartest and... And the most hard-working man I could find. Howdy doody. Are you saying that I, Dilly Dally, am not smart? Well, of course not, Dilly, but I've got to make sure that oh. you're the smartest. Oh, I've been insulted enough. <laughs> and <laughs> I want your answer tomorrow. You understand? Yes or no. And remember, Howdy, remember the pip squeak. <laughs> Well, kids, how do you like that? Now, Dilly's okay. He's a nice little fella, but... Well, I'm sure that Howdy knows people who are much smarter than Dilly. And who'd work harder, too. I mean, people like the inspector. Now, the inspector'd make a grace vice president, wouldn't he, kids? Yeah! And even the feather man. Don't you agree, kids? Yeah! Sure. Well, but gee, kids, I... Well, I can't... Can't let Dilly Dally tell Mr. Buster about the pipsqueak. Oh, golly, kids, what am I going to do? Say, I'm ready to see who won today's wing day. Oh, and so am I, Flub. So come on, let's go, Buffalo Bob. All right, howdy doody. Well, now, boys and girls, you know, of course, that you're going to do the real final voting in November. But we're going to have our wing ding now just to see how many fans and supporters Howdy has in each state and also the flub -a Now, you see, kids, if Howdy sees that he's doing very well in Wisconsin, well, that's fine. Then Howdy can concentrate on another state. But if Howdy's having trouble in Wisconsin, well, then he's going to have to get busy and do some extra campaigning for those Wisconsin boys and girls. <laughs> oh, hi, Clara. Ah, oh, here it is. Now, here is the wing ding. All right, now, all you boys and girls in Wisconsin and Nebraska, now, you get ready. Now, kids, if you are supporting Howdy Doody, then I want you to raise your right arm and cheer when I say Howdy Doody's name. If, however, you're supporting the flub dub then raise your left arm arm and cheer when I say the flubba dubs name. All right, now remember, now this, kids, is our wingding machine, and it works very, very simply. Just show them, Clarabelle. Turn it on once. Now, you see, this left ear, this records all the cheers for the flubba dub, and the right ear records all the cheers for Howdy Doody. And the wingding wiper, turn that on, Clarabelle. Is that going? at a boy. That will show who wins. All right, now, ready, all you boys and girls in Nebraska and Wisconsin. All the Howdy Duty supporters, cheer and raise your right arm. Hey! 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 All right, fine. Now, all the flub -a dub supporters, cheer and raise your left arm. Hey! hey! Hooray! Hooray! All right, and...
And now, boys and girls, for the big decision. Now, let's see who has the most supporters. Howdy Doody fans, raise your right arm. Love it up fans, raise your left arm. And all cheer at the same time. Here we go. Hooray! Kids, that was very, very close. It's almost half and half, almost 50-50, but the winner is Howdy Doody by a small margin. Howdy Doody! And now, kids, we're going to put the results on the wing ding a little bit later. Right, Clarabelle? <laughs> Say, you know, that was sure close, Howdy Doody. Oh, boy, too close for comfort, Buffalo Bob. Very, very close, Howdy. You won all right, but boy, it was so close that... Well, I don't think you can even call it much of a victory for yourself. Well, I admit you're right, Flub. I'll have to do much better in the next wing ding. Well, I'll say you will, because, kiddo, I'm going to win the next wing ding myself. Flub a dub for president! Ah, uh, yes, sir. And kids, our next wing ding will be next week. And that'll be for the boys and girls in Illinois. But right now, here's something for you kids all over the United States. Matter of fact, all over the world. What is it, boys and girls? Oh, yeah. And now let's all sing our Colgate jingle. Let's go. All brush your teeth with Colgate. Yes, sir, and kids, Howdy and I hope you'll all brush your teeth with swell-tasting Colgate's every day right after eating, because that's the way to stop tooth decay best. And you know it's right if it's red and white. Oh, well, well, kids, boy, I'm a little worried. Looks like I'm going to have to do some extra planning to win the next wing day. Gee, kids, we completely lost track of Mr. Bluster today. And I want an answer tomorrow, Howdy. Do you take Dilly Dally, or does Dilly Dally take the Pip Squeak? <laughs>